Hello, my vivacious friends. So I am married, as you know, and I'm also blessed with amazing friends, but I still consider myself a loner in that I truly enjoy setting aside time to do the things that make me happy. So when I have an opportunity, I like to have a self-date day or date night. So for Valentine's Day, if you don't have a significant other or girlfriends that you're planning on having a Valentine's Day celebration with, or simply because of the pandemic you can't see your date or your friends, then you definitely need to show yourself some self-love and have a fabulous Valentine's Day pampering yourself. Of course, take the opportunity to dress up in your reds, pinks, or anything heart-shaped purple sparkles, or of course that LBD works for Valentine's Day as well. Just be sure to add a pop of something festive, whether it's in your shoes, jewelry, purse, hair accessories, or makeup. Have fun with it. That's part of what makes the holidays special and different. Start your day off with a fancy coffee, which is what we call it in my household, which truly just means a cappuccino, latte, or anything you don't normally have. And make sure to put it in a nice cup or mug. It's the little touches that can really elevate your mood and your entire day. Then settle in and read a book, your fashion magazines, put on some spa music, and enjoy a relaxing start to the day. Then either stay home all day and start the pampering. So do a face mask, paint your nails, order takeout, and binge watch movies. Or do a combo of that and do a craft project you want to try or paint something for fun. If it's not too cold and you like the idea of getting out of the house, then decide on a fun outing. I would recommend a museum or some other free sightseeing item in your city and enjoy the sound of nobody talking in your ear or having to decide where to go or how long to stay. You are on your own. Take full advantage of that fact. Whatever you do during the day, get dressed up for the evening and relish in the process. Put your favorite music on, pour yourself a glass of Prosecco, don that special outfit, and then dance like nobody's watching because truly, <laughs> nobody is. Then order dinner from your favorite restaurant, put it on nice dishes, try a new wine, Pick a movie that you normally wouldn't see with a significant other. For example, for me, it's any romantic comedy or foreign films with subtitles as he watches them, but they aren't his favorite. Or cook a simple, healthy, but tasty meal and then enjoy a dessert that you don't have to share. Whatever you do, just please enjoy. Feel free to share with me in the comments. I'd love to hear and have a very happy Valentine's Day.